Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and uh, I was just answering some YouTube comments today and somebody asked uh, where do you find the automation in GarageBand for Mac? Um, where is the volume automation? So that one is really, really easy. Um, you just go, um, you select the track that you want to see the automation for. Well, actually, we just need to switch on the automation first. So we go up to the menus at the top and it should be under view or share or something like this. Here we go, mix. So there it is, under the mix, uh, show automation. And then you'll see that it kind of changes the way the screen looks. And um, you can also use just the, the keyboard shortcut A on your keyboard, um, on your computer keyboard, just hit A. And then you'll see here, I've already used some automation, but by default, the automation is not engaged on each track. Um, there will be a little sort of grayed out line and you'll see that the default automation is always selected as volume right here on the track. But you can automate all sorts of things like the pan, the amount of echo and reverb. Um, you can also um, automate things from your instrument that you have. If you have a software instrument, you can automate different parameters and you can even automate plugins that are on the on the track. So if I wanted to say, get the automation um, on this top instrument up here, you just click on the track first and you'll see now there's like a yellow um, line appears and then you have to click again on that line to create breakpoints. And these are just different nodes. And then if you go up, that's turning the volume up and it will show you on this little pop-up uh, screen here, how many decibels. So three decibels up, that's 30% louder. And then you can bring the volume down. Um, so this is really handy if you want to, you just double click on a node to, to make it disappear. If you want to fade in an instrument, you can do volume automation. So let's listen to just this track. It's just an electric piano. Then we can fade it out again. And the cool thing with volume automation is that um, when you pop volume automation on a particular clip or a region, um, let's say I pop some volume automation on this last region here, um, so I just want it to perhaps go quieter in the middle or something along those lines, whatever you need for your production. You could do some cool things. You can pan it from left to right. So then when I press the A button or if I go up to, uh, where were we? Mix. Um, if you deselect that, and then I just grab this region and copy and paste it. So I'll right click and select copy and then I'll right click again and hit paste. When I go back into the automation mode by hitting A, you'll see that the automation has copied along with that clip. If you don't want that to happen, so I, I'll just undo what I've done. There is a little uh, setting under the mix menu saying move track automation with regions. So this will also affect if I move this in in time, if I just move this one clip, you'll see the automation has moved with it. Um, but if you want the automation to stay where it is or not be copied, you go to the mix and you deselect the move track automation with regions. And then when I move this, the automation will stay where it is. And I'm assuming when I copy and paste this, yeah, there we go. You see, when I pasted it, it, it has no automation. Um, so I use automation all the time in my mixes. I've used it just a little bit here. You'll see right here to turn up the um, keyboard solo and then turn it back down when, when the, the vocals come back in. Um, you can also use it to create um, panning effects. So if I go back here, so you can have multiple types of automation on the same track as well. So if, I can, if I've got some volume automation here, I can then go and select uh, pan automation, which is how much comes out of the left or the right speaker. And um, 
when the pan is at zero, it's in the center. And then when it's minus, um, I'm pretty sure that's that goes to the left. The minus up to about minus 50 on most programs. What is it on? Yeah, 50, uh, oh, we got 64. Okay, so that's that's 64. So that's using MIDI um, integers there. That's why it's 64. So I can pan all the way left, which is all the way up there. And then all the way down is all the way to the right. And then I can bring it back to the center if I like. So that's got vo both volume and panning automation on it. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. If you've got headphones on or if you're listening in stereo speakers, you should hear it on the left and then on the right. Um, the other thing you can do is you can, you can put more, um, of the like echo and reverb on there. So if I wanted to pop more reverb on this track, just for this one little bit, you see how I just click on there to enable it. I can crank the, the reverb right up. And then bring it down and things like that. And then when you want to switch back, see how it says they're used so that's just telling you all the different automations that you have used on a track um, so that's a little bit about volume automation and a little bit of an extra bonus there with the panning automation and the automation of the track effects the echo and the reverb um, it's really really handy and if you want to uh, learn more about the advanced features of uh, GarageBand I do have a Udemy course, a full guide to GarageBand, and it's on sale at the moment. I'll leave a link in the description to that course. I also have a new course uh, producing electronic uh, pop, chill pop music, which is a great one as well. Even for uh, you know intermediate and advanced users of GarageBand, you can see me build a track from start to finish, do everything I would do to make it sound professional and get it up to the commercial release quality using mastering, even within GarageBand. So uh, thanks for that question. I hope you found this one useful. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out to make future content. And I'll see you in the next video.